going out, not staying in, just hanging around with my head in a spin, but there is no need to scream and shout. We're not going out, we are not going out. I need your help, Lucy. Come in. It's not the best time, Anna. Oh, don't apologise. It's chaos at our house, too. Toby forgot to soak my oats last night, so... <laughs> I'm not happy. Neither am I with that image in me yet. So, what's up? You know, Toby and I are going to Sicily in August. I'm arranging a little surprise while we're there. Oh, you haven't been whacked by the Mafia? <laughs> don't be childish, Lee. Of course I'm not. Oh, well. Looks like he'll have to shoot himself. <laughs> I'm planning to spring a little Italian on him. Oh. You are having him whacked by the Mafia. I'm learning the language, and I need your help. I had my first Italian lesson last night, and I covered for it by saying I'd been here. If Toby happens to mention it to you, would you back me up? Yeah, of course we will. No problem. Lee's seeing him later. Grazie mille. I do want to keep these lessons a secret. Whenever we go abroad, Toby's always the one who speaks to the waiters and the taxi drivers. This is my opportunity to take the smug bastard down a peg or two. <laughs> yes, great idea. We won't tell. Ciao, Bella. Spirito de Ponto. <laughs> I'm not happy about this. Why? Toby's my mate. I don't want to lie to him. Right, so when you wouldn't drive him to the airport a few weeks ago, that's because you really did have Covid. Might have had. Those tests are very confusing. At one point, I even thought I was pregnant. <laughs> what if I get my story wrong? Get it wrong? You're not going undercover with the Taliban. <laughs> Anna came round for a cup of tea and then went home. Yeah, but how does she have her tea? Same way I do. <laughs> wow. You don't even know. Of course I do. How? Hot. <laughs> well, there you go. Anna came round for a hot cup of tea. You'll be fine. Yeah, but what if Toby asks us both about it? Our stories need to match. Fine. Anna came round. You gave her a cup of tea. Earl Grey, oat milk, no sugar. We offered her a Jaffa cake, which she declined, and we talked about holidays. Is that a rich enough backstory for you, Daniel Day-Lewis? <laughs> Fine. He probably won't even mention she was round here. I understand Anna was round at your place last night. <laughs> yep. I made her an Earl Grey with oat milk, no sugar, and we talked about holidays. <laughs> she didn't want a Jaffa cake. How many times did you go to the toilet? One. Well, no, two. One time for a number two. I'm only making small talk. I don't need every little detail. What did you think of her outfit? Bollocks. <laughs> it's a bit harsh. I mean, what outfit? What about it? I don't notice people's outfits. Oh, come on, I know you noticed it, really. How could you not? It was a bit... you know, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was a bit, uh... It's all right. You can say. I can't. <laughs> well, let me help you out. I mean, it, it wasn't exactly conservative, was it? I know the word you're looking for, you know. Revealing. Tarty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> revealing. Yeah. And very unlike Anna. We're hardly seeing each other at the moment. I'm working all the time, and she's either back late from a night out or off to the gym or something. Tonight, she's got a beauty treatment straight after work. Ships that pass in the night. More like ships that scrape up against each other. <laughs> Fire off the odd volley. <laughs> Every now and again, make a half-hearted attempt to board. <laughs> Generally met with resistance. Let's leave it there before we get to the terrible loss of semen. <laughs> I hope she's not having some sort of midlife crisis. Oh, I'm sure everything's fine. No, I'm probably worrying about nothing. She's obviously having fun. 
Especially at yours last night. She wasn't back till after midnight. Wasn't she? <laughs> I mean, wasn't she? <laughs> and if it is a midlife crisis, there are worse symptoms than having a makeover. I mean, at least she's not having an affair, right? <laughs> We have got a problem. Oh, let me guess. You told him some overly complicated lie, and now we've got to pretend we're Bulgarian folk dancers. No. Good, because I'm not going through all that again. I think Anna might be up to something. She is. She's having Italian lessons. And what's Italian for? Having an affair. Bruschetta? <laughs> well, it means a bit on the side. <laughs> Who the hell is she supposed to be having an affair with? I don't know. The Italian teacher. She didn't get back last night until after midnight. It's a bit late for lessons, isn't it? And she's bought a whole new wardrobe. Probably for the Italian teacher to hide in. me everything. I went shopping with her a few days ago. She would have confided in me. Oh, yeah. Buying new clothes, was she? If you must know, it was Anne Summers. Oh, good God. <laughs> Buying new underwear doesn't mean you're cheating. I mean, if you cheated on me every time you bought new underwear, you'd... <laughs> Never have cheated. Are you telling me that you would not be suspicious if I started wearing fancy underpants? I'd be suspicious if you started washing your underpants. <laughs> so is Toby suspicious? No, because we gave her an alibi, didn't we? I'm going to have to talk to him. Don't you dare! Lucy, are you telling me that if Anna is having sex with some strange man, I'm supposed to just sit by and watch? <laughs> being used as an accessory. <laughs> well, I hope you've got new batteries. <laughs> Look, I don't for one second think Anna's sleeping with someone, but even if she is, it's none of our business. Especially given you haven't even got any proper evidence. Fair point. Where are you going? To get proper evidence. Apparently, she's having a beauty treatment after work today. But is she? <laughs> <laughs> yes, probably. All right, maybe she is. But why is she having a beauty treatment? So, to clarify, if she's having a beauty treatment, she's having an affair. But if she's not having a beauty treatment, she's having an affair. Don't forget to dunk her in the river as well and see if she's a witch. <laughs> Don't worry, I already know the answer to that one. Can I help you? I uh, wanted to inquire about a reservation I've made. Sure. Have you got the booking reference number? Actually, that's why I'm here. I made a booking for this Friday night, room 23. Like an idiot, I've gone and lost the confirmation email. That's all right. When you arrive on Friday, you can check in with your name and the credit card you use to make the reservation. That's all we need. Oh, good. Well, thank you very much. Checking. 
Room 23 is a romantic room, isn't it? <laughs> the honeymoon suite, in fact. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Uh, and I can confirm your order for champagne and flowers will be in the room on arrival. Thank you. Well, uh, <laughs> see you on Friday. Oh, excuse me. You've left your bag. Oh. oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> can I help you find anything back there, sir? No. I'm just checking out your rack. Security to reception, please. So how was your stalking expedition? Stalking makes it sound sinister. I was just following Anna without her knowing. <laughs> Taking photos. So what happened? She didn't go for a beauty treatment. She went straight into a hotel to confirm a booking she's got for this Friday in a romantic room, room 23. I remembered it because it's the same shirt number David Beckham had at Real Madrid. <laughs> See? Now you're concerned, aren't you? I'm concerned you need a special technique to remember a two-digit number. <laughs> Has it occurred to you, even for a second, that she might have booked that room for her and Toby? Why would she book the romantic room? They're married. I don't suppose we can pretend I never said that. Maybe they're trying to put a bit of magic back in their marriage. Siegfried and Roy couldn't put the magic back in their marriage. One night in a hotel room's not going to do it. Well, it's better than a two-for-one meal deal at Weatherspoons followed by a night at the Travel Lodge. I told you at the time, a fourth wedding anniversary is not a round number. I'm telling you, it'll be a surprise for Toby, so keep quiet. And more importantly, keep your nose out. Hello. Hi, Lucy. Sorry to barge in on you again. It's fine. How's the Italian going? Like a steam train. <laughs> so what can we do for you, Anna? First of all, I want to thank you both for covering for me last night. Toby didn't suspect a thing. Our pleasure. Well, not just ours. <laughs> and secondly, I wanted to ask another favour, I'm afraid. It's about this Friday night. Oh. Have you got plans? Certainly have. Another Italian lesson. This Friday? As in the Friday at the end of this week? It's the only night I can squeeze him in. Don't. <laughs> in fact, he can't see me until late evening, and I'm having a double lesson, so I won't get back until very late. And I'm worried if I get back home late again, Toby's going to start wondering what's really going on. Which is what? That I'm having Italian lessons. Keep up, Lee. So, I wondered if you could tell Toby I'm coming here again. And this time say I'm staying over. Oh, so you want to stay over here? No. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> no. No, I just want to tell Toby I'm staying here. But actually, I'll just get a hotel near where the lessons are. It'd be quite nice having a bed to myself, bit of me time. Or we time. <laughs> Not everybody sees hotel beds as wee time. I was very drunk, and would you stop banging on about our fourth wedding anniversary? The thing is, Anna, I don't think we can. No problem at all, Anna. We'll do that for you. We will? Of course. Anything to help a friend secretly get her mouth round a bit of Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds rude. I was going to say cunning linguist. <laughs> The lying cow! So why have you just agreed to help her with another alibi? Because I am going to invite Toby out for a drink on Friday night, and we might just find ourselves in a certain hotel bar. That way, he can see it with his own eyes instead of me having to tell him. Overnight Italian lessons in a hotel room. That is an actual name of a porno video. <laughs> I bet. I was supposed to be at a work leaving party tonight. But don't worry, you're not spoiling my evening. Give it a chance, the night is young. I wasn't going to go anyway. All those over the top goodbyes. 
I hate it when people get drunk and overly sentimental. I would rather be on a Friday night out with my best mate in the whole wide world. Ooh, steady on. Let's keep it British. <laughs> well, it's your fault for buying me all those whiskies. If I didn't know better, I would say you were preparing me for bad news. What makes you say that? Well, I'm a doctor, aren't I? It's part of my job to give people bad news. And how do you do it? I'm guessing you haven't got time to get all your patients drunk. You've always got to find a silver lining. Like, good news! You won't be in hospital much longer. <laughs> Anyway, why are we talking about bad news? We should be having fun. Anna is at your house having fun with Lucy, right? Yeah, that's, that's what she said. I need to have some fun. Our marriage... It's like watching a swan. On the surface, it's all calm and serene. Blimey, you really are muntered, aren't you? <laughs> but beneath the water, there's a nice little fish having its face bitten off by a pike. <laughs> Come on, mate. There's a certain hotel bar I want to take you to. Beer! <laughs> I once told a patient the bad news by Limerick. Limerick? <laughs> there was a young man from our broth who had a magnificent growth. Come on, hurry up. Don't hold my hand. <clears throat> oh. But you were supposed to be at your Italian lesson. I'm just on my way. I just thought I'd just double-check that Toby's still none the wiser. Well, he's none the wiser. It seems like a lot of effort to go to just so you can order your own toppings at the Palermo branch of Pizza Express. <laughs> Is there something you want to say to me, Lucy? No. OK. Bye, then. I don't think you're having Italian lessons, are you? No. I'm sorry, Lucy, I wanted to tell you the truth, but the fact is I'm ashamed. So we are talking about an affair, then? Yes. Oh, Anna! And you involved us? I just needed an alibi, Lucy. As a friend, is that too much to ask? Yes! <laughs> I can lend you mixing bowls and have secret chats about yeast infections, but <laughs> a line has to be drawn. I can't help you cheat on Toby. I'm not cheating on Toby. He's cheating on me. What? Oh! I know everyone thinks butter wouldn't melt in his mouth, even with all that sun shining out of his backside. <laughs> but he's been acting strangely for weeks. Sort of upbeat, whistling to himself, <laughs> standing tall. I, I don't quite know the word for it. Happy? That's it. <laughs> Happy. No wonder I was suspicious. At first, I thought maybe it was just innocent flirting with someone. I even made an effort to stop his eye from wandering by buying some new outfits and sexy underwear. Ridiculous. But then I got worried. What if this other flirty woman wants more? And Toby's slowly being suckered in. You might be jumping to conclusions. That's what I thought at first. So the other night I followed him. But I ended up getting lost and I couldn't find a cab. There was an Uber share option that I even considered, but... I realised I hadn't sunk that low. <laughs> Eventually, I got back home, but it was so late, Toby was already back and fast asleep. Hence me telling him the next morning I'd been here. But then I went through his pockets, and I found a hotel card with a handwritten note on the back. Room 23, Friday night, kiss, kiss. I see. So you went to the hotel and inquired about it? <laughs> Did you? I guess, I mean, that's what I do. Exactly. So, I'm going to that hotel right now to catch him at it. So why did you pretend to him you were sleeping over here? So he doesn't feel he needs to come home. Give him enough rope to hang himself. Look, I can guarantee Toby isn't cheating on you. 
Well, he certainly isn't tonight, anyway. He's with Lee. Oh, Lucy, you are so naive. He's obviously got Lee to lie for him. Toby never goes out on a Friday night. He watches Michael Portillo's Great Railway Journeys. <laughs> That's the Toby I... tolerate. <laughs> Look, Toby, you know, whatever happens, I'm always here for you. A shoulder to cry on whenever you need it. Remember, you are a decent bloke. You're intelligent. You're a good-looking lad. Never forget that. <laughs> Please, stop touching me. Look, if this is about what I told you about me and Anna, Thanks, but there's no need to worry. It's all good. I thought you said she's never around, that you never see each other. Like I say, it's all good. <laughs> this is the place I was telling you about. Oh, we can't go in there. Why not? Look, you know I said I was meant to be at work's leaving, too. Well, this is the venue! Shh! <laughs> you need to go somewhere else immediately. Gemma's leaving do. Woman at work, she's, she, she's got a weird crush on me. How weird? Apart from the fact that it's on you. <laughs> she wants it to go further. So? You're not interested in her, are you? Well... Oh, God, you're both at it. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing has happened between us, but she is very charming and very clever. And beautiful. And she definitely fancies you. <laughs> a minute ago, you told me I was good looking. Yeah, but I didn't mean it, obviously. <laughs> well, Gemma does. And she has booked a room here for the night, which is why I didn't want to come. So I thought the best way to take my mind off someone that attractive and, and intelligent was to go out with you. <laughs> You're making me blush. Look, it's a really bad idea for me to go in there, so let's just move on. Toby! I thought it was you. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Hello, Gemma. This is Lee. Hello, Lee. <laughs> you coming inside for a drink, then? I don't really think I should. I do really think you should. Easy to remember. David Beckham's shirt number he was at Real Madrid, <laughs> even when he was playing away from home. <laughs> I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I think we should go. <laughs> Hello? Call off your mission now. Anna isn't cheating. Are you sure? Positive. But she thinks Toby's cheating with some woman from work. Which, of course... He isn't, because he's with you. Toby is with you, right? Yeah. Everything's fine. Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Well, I got Toby drunk, told him he was handsome, and handed him over to a very attractive woman who wants to have sex with him. <laughs> but apart from that, everything's fine. Bloody hell, Lee! Anna's on her way over there now! Oh, God. I've delivered the champagne that was ordered, sir. Uh, I did knock, but there was nobody in. Right. Great. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Tic tac.
I'm really not sure I should be going in there. Why? I am a happily married man of three years. Although it did go downhill for the next 12. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Maybe just a quickie then. I don't mean champagne, I mean sex. No, I, actually, the other way round. Not, not, not sex the other way round. I mean, actually, I, I, I don't know what I mean anymore. That wasn't me. I'm sure I left those curtains open. I find the moonlight very romantic. Don't you? Maybe the staff closed them when they came in to turn down the bed. And what about you, Toby? Are you going to turn down my bed? Well, perhaps I could rearrange your towels or something. <laughs> I don't bite. Well, not straight away. <laughs> Do you think we should be wearing face masks? Shh. Now, where's my leaving present? Well, I, I chipped in for the habitat vouchers. <laughs> and I signed the group card. You didn't put a kiss on it. Even stuff your Malcolm from accounts put a kiss on. Oh, I wondered why someone had signed it, Malcolm X. Maybe you can give me my kiss now. Hello. Oh. What are you doing in there? Took the wrong exit, leaving Narnia. <laughs> he can't do this. What's it got to do with you? Are you a secret boyfriend or something? No. Although I have just come out of the closet. <laughs> I just want to make sure that he doesn't do something that he regrets. I think you should leave, Gemma. You can't throw me out. I have to. It's my room. Come on, Lee. Where are you going? No, it's fine. I don't need the room. Well, not anymore, anyway. And I suppose I should show my face at my own evening party. Bye, Toby. You'll thank me for that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't hold my breath. <laughs> mate, I know it's been a, an emotional roller coaster, but you did the right thing. <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> you did lately. <laughs> Even in French lessons. <laughs>